Okay, so Shark players this year do a lot of interviews in tough circumstances. Not a lot of winning going on. So there's some tough questions to be asked by the media and answered by the players. Now, we show you most of those interviews on Post Game Live after every Sharks game. However, there's one thing that we want to add to the equation. You and I do a similar press conference after each one of our shows. We just never really have time to show them. But to humanize what the players are going through, we thought we would show you one of the press conferences we do. Here's what it looks like. Hey, everybody. Hey. Uh, one, th one thing. Uh, yeah. Not being an athlete, how nervous are you to cover sports, especially working with legends in their respective sports? Oh, I mean, look, I, I know I'm just here for my looks, um, and that's the service I bring to the program, and uh, we all got to be better. Uh, the athletes, the broadcasters, uh, it's just, it's not where you want to be. We don't work this hard uh, to get these results, to be honest with you. When you attended A's fantasy camp, were there many injuries, or was your hamstring tear the only one? Oh. Oh, you know, that was uh, that was last year for me. Uh, I, the trainers did a great job, and the uh, the staff, uh, you know, they were they were top notch. So I, I feel fast out there. I mean, I, I thought I finished tonight's shows really well, uh, a lot of speed, uh, but don't ever tear a hamstring. Yeah. yeah. Live TV must be nerve wracking. Have you even seen to forget your own name on TV? Just out of curiosity, how do you prepare? I forgot my own name. Yeah, I've seen you do it before. Oh. Uh, well, there's, there's not a lot of preparation. Um, I just kind of rely on, you know, I think it's like 25 years of broadcasting, and basically ever since I was born. Uh, uh, but, you know, when you work with, like, kind of dead weight sometimes, I, I feel like it's not nervousness. It's, it's just that I have to pull all the rope in the show sometimes, and uh, it just makes it really tough. So anything that I do wrong, it's, it's Curtis's fault. Yeah. yeah. You've been on the record saying tank for Bedard, but some say you're tanking the broadcast. Can you set the record straight? We're tanking? You know, I, I can be better at the end of shows. I can be better. Uh, it's, it's partly my conditioning. Uh, uh, the Peloton rides have, have done a lot of good. Uh, the double IPAs every other night, that, that's not helping. Uh, I was a little winded, I'll be honest, when we were closing out the show. And uh, I, I just, yeah, conditioning's probably it for me. Uh, we're not tanking, though. Uh, I mean, some of us might be, but not over on this side of the desk. No. I think that's all we got for you. Oh, good? Okay. Thanks, everybody. The trade deadline passed more than a week ago. Were you expected to get traded? Uh, no, I, I obviously know I'm around here to, to help the show and what they're left with if they move me out, I know it would be, uh, they'd be shorthanded. They probably wouldn't be able to move on. And you only make deals to make, make your team better. So I wasn't that nervous. So are you happy that you're here for the rest of the season? I'm happy I'm here every game. Obviously we don't like the adversity, but it's not just on the ice. I have uh, a lot of things I can, you know, shoulder, let's just say responsibility around the, the broadcast. And I think when you view it that way, you can get better. So obviously that's our goal is to get better each and every day. And that's what I'm trying to do. So Brownie, the numbers are actually in and Scott Hannon's ratings are usually about 75% higher when he's on the show. Is there anything you can do to match those numbers? Yeah, I think I probably got to get on social media. I've been a holdout, a little bit of a traditionalist and you know what, everybody that's uh, all about mustaches and not fancy haircuts, maybe we can get them on board and they watch more of our programs and my ratings will go up. Speaking of mustaches, there's been some complaints about viewers from, about your mustache being crooked. Have you had the trainers look into that at all? Well, it grows uh, crooked, just like haircuts, right? Not everybody has perfect hair or that opportunity. So yeah, maybe, maybe uh, they're crooked by the end of the night. They've been uh, viewing it, laying down on the side. Maybe the the games haven't been entertaining enough, but I think it's pretty squared up now, so uh, I'm okay with it. Some right. unnamed sources are saying you're harder on the Sharks than on your youth teams. Any truth to that? No, there's zero truth. The only uh, way that I could be harder on uh, the Sharks uh, would be that you don't watch the youth. Obviously, we're trying to help the youth grow, and adversity for them, too, 
is a good thing. So we're trying to coach them up. No easy streets in the game of hockey. I think that's sometimes uh, Brazil's problem is he's always looking for the easy way out. I think if we just all look and understand we're going to face some storms, let's just try to uh, learn from them. I think that's the best way to go about it. Thank you, Brownie. Cool. All right. Thank you. Have a good night. Have a good one. And so now you know what happens after every post-game show. And that's how we don't typically show those. But we answer the tough questions. Yeah, we have to. Accountability.